Sonic flosses. That's it. Instant 10 out of 10, because Sonic flosses. Guys, am I making an original joke? Sonic flosses. But no, seriously, I actually enjoyed this movie. The Sonic movie is a little weird to me. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Because I didn't go into it expecting to enjoy it. I went into it expecting to be like, yeah, I mean, it was funny, but it was a bad movie. No, I was wrong. My expectations were subverted by Sonic. My expectations were more subverted by the Sonic movie than they were with Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. This is an alien blue hedgehog from another planet escaping echidnas for a movie. So yeah, we, we got some spoilers, some spoilers. Foist off, New York in accent now. Foist off. I, I, why does every company nowadays feel like they gotta include baby something? Baby Yoda started it and now it's just like, Baby Mr. Planter's Nut. Baby Sonic. Soon we'll have like, Baby Kool-Aid Man. Because <laughs> I can just imagine the ad now, like Kool-Aid Man trips, breaks, and then the jug he was holding becomes the new Baby Kool-Aid Man. <laughs> but yeah, there's Baby Sonic in this movie, and I don't know why. It kind of looks like uh, the uh, original Sonic in like Generations or Mania. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. I like how the whole movie's kind of kickstarted because he's running away from echidnas. I'm gonna say they're echidnas because that's what Knuckles is. He's an echidna, but they're bright red. They ain't echidnas. Kind of like how he ain't really a hedgehog, but we'll let it slide. So I'm not the greatest in Sonic lore because I've only played the first two Sonic games. <laughs> but um, I liked having the Knuckles tribe there. That was kind of cool. I don't remember that big owl. Don't know what that was about. But yeah, I didn't know the rings could teleport people. I think that was just for the movie. Let's get into some parts I like because there's a shocking amount of them. First off, references everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. There's a crazy old guy who's like the only person to know Sonic exists uh, before like the main character does. And he like has a drawing and he calls him the blue devil and it's just Sanic. You know that Sanic drawing? He, they just, he holds up Sanic and that's the joke. And I actually laughed because that was pretty funny. Jim Carrey, oh. Jim Carrey, so good in this movie. Like, I expected him to be the best part, and I was correct, absolutely, 100%. Jim Carrey makes this movie so much better. Like, if this movie had no Jim Carrey, that wouldn't have been bueno. But with Jim Carrey, I love it so much. It's just so great with Jim Carrey. He's, like, so overly eccentric. It's perfect, and I love it. I love, um, like, I just really like uh, the soundtrack of the movie. I'm surprised, uh, too, but it's surprisingly good. There's a remake of the original uh, Sonic theme at, like, the end, and it's really good. 10 out of 10 would recommend the soundtrack at that the very least, it's muy bueno. And uh, had to bring this up at some point, Tails. Tails is in this movie, if you didn't know. He's in like the end credit scene, so like he's not in it, but he's in it. And you know what? That's pretty exciting to me. And it makes me really glad that this wasn't in the original style. Hold on, I think I have a photo here of what Tails would've looked like in the original style. Let me bring it up for ya. Yeah, I do. Right here, it's, it's wow, it's the real, it's the real Tails if they had uh, kept that original style. 
I'm so glad they changed. Legitimately, the movie is so much better that they changed the art style. Okay, now that we've got that nightmare out of the way, let's get to some more things I liked. Graphics for the movie, surprisingly good, considering they, like, made the whole of, like, Sonic in, like, five months. Um, I don't know specifically, but I think it was five months. It was really good. The voice acting for Sonic, I really like the actor. I've only seen him in a couple other things, but like mainly Parks and Recreation, he was really good in that show. Um, the whole like character dynamic between, well, we're gonna get to the main character in the first part, but we'll call him main character and Sonic. Uh, I like that, but here's a few negatives. I don't remember anything, anything at all about the humans besides Jim Carrey. Sonic and Robotnik are the only two characters I remember like anything about from the entire movie. I do, I, the main human character, he's like a police officer and he's called Donut Lord. Humans in this movie, forgettable. Totally forgettable. Like, I don't remember anything at all. The main character, his name is either Tim or Tom. Tim Tom, sure. <laughs> One sec, we have, we have a photographic uh, image of main character is Tim Tom is Tim Tom Tim Tom <laughs> yeah I don't remember the main character that much but yeah Sonic overall I liked it it was a good movie if I had to give it a rating 8 out of 10 or would it be 8 out of 10 see it's higher for one reason the end of the film Sonic He's dead, I think. Either dead or knocked purely unconscious. And he's just lying there. And Robotnik's just like, ar 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 egg, ar. And Tim Tom is like, hey, he was my friend. <laughs> and Sonic comes back to life with the power of friendship, with a lightning bolt like Thor. And through the power of friendship, goes so fast that he punches a spaceship through an interdimensional portal to a planet full of mushrooms. I am not making up a single detail. Through the power of friendship, Sonic saves the day. So yeah. That was the Sonic movie. I liked it. With my new rating after considering the ending of gaining the power of friendship, eight and a half out of 10. <laughs> Go watch it, it's so much fun, but don't watch it alone. It's way better with friends when you're all just laughing at it. Oh yeah, also if, uh, when I say laughing at it, I don't mean like laughing at it in a mean way. Like sometimes I laughed with it. But, like, some of the things it does are just so ridiculous. Also, if you're an actual Sonic fan, unlike me, I actually think you'd enjoy this movie. Ow.